thanks uh, John Uth for uh, your time. Oh, not a problem. What's new about the NASA mission OSIRIS-REx? Well, the thing that's new is the samples are back. The samples now allow us to take an unbiased opinion about what is actually in meteorite samples, asteroid samples in that case. Um, the whole reason for going to Bennu was to collect a sample that had never been on the Earth, so therefore could never been contaminated by terrestrial biology. If you find a meteorite on the ground, even if it just fell, and you analyze that meteorite, you can't tell that the organic material wasn't a contamination. It you know, splashed in a little bit of water, it uh, fell in something else that was not so pure. Um, all of those things are possibilities when you're looking about, when you're trying to find microscopic signs of life. Uh, organic molecules, things that were made possibly bio uh, biologically versus abiologically. So anything we found on Bennu is definitely not contaminated by biology from the Earth. We went out of our way to make sure that nothing could contaminate the samples, although it's not perfect. It never is perfect. Um, we had samples along the way as we were building the spacecraft, as we were launching the spacecraft, there were witness plates. So if there was some tiny amount of material, for instance, from the thrusters or whatever, that could mimic terrestrial biology, we have a sample of that made basically on our witness plates. So we can separate the material that comes directly out of Bennu from any material that was potentially made on Earth or as a product of something from the Earth. Uh, so now we can tell which is which, which is the abiological material made before the solar system contamination, uh, uh, the terrestrial contamination, and which is material that is directly applicable to the material that came down on the Earth four and a half billion years ago. So that's the fun part. Um, there's lots of organic materials, there's a little bit of stuff that is left-handed or right-handed in excess, um, but that's now being sorted out. What is our main goal in studying samples from uh, extraterrestrial bodies? Uh, well, there are things. Um, OSIRIS-REx is a complicated acronym that is basically everything from the origins of solar systems, the origins of life, origins of biology, uh, to security, to information. For instance, at some point, we're going to be living in space. You can't take all of the material from, that you need from the Earth and bring it up. It's way too expensive to get it up there. The things you want, for instance, are organic materials, water, those kind of things. Bennu is a perfect place to get those materials. Uh, there should be water in the interior of Bennu, which um, is shown by the uh, 2.7 micron feature that we found, and then there should be even more water inside some of the samples that we found. Uh, there's organic materials there so that you have the nutrients potentially uh, to actually support life in space. You can make nice soils that you can grow materials on. Um, all of those things are the kind of thing that you need to know. There's also the security. Bennu is one of the most likely asteroids to hit the Earth. Not a very pleasant thing, but if it is going to hit the Earth, we want to know how to reflect it. So you need to know the composition, the density, um, how well it holds itself together so that when you try to poke it out of the way it doesn't fall apart and then come back together and hit you. So all of those things are reasons why we went to Bennu. NASA approved the extension of the mission OSIRIS-REx in order to observe in uh, 2029 uh, Apophis asteroid, is right. it? Yes, uh, that's OSIRIS Apex and they are going to it's unfortunate they can't get there before the um, Apophis managed to cross the Earth and make closest approach. But they are going to try to map out what may have happened as it went into the Earth's gravitational field. Whether or not there were landslides, whether or not materials moved, whether or not um, the orbital, uh, not the orbital, the rotational state changed on Apophis, all to map out basically what the interior structure may be uh, in its response to the Earth's gravitational field.